Kelly Nick High School, thanks for joining us. I'm Alexis Handel. And I'm Shelby Pelzer, and you're watching this week's Eye of the Needle. This weekend, the dance team performed at the state competition at the Wells Fargo Arena. The girls performed their hip-hop routine and placed within the top 12. Iowa has the largest state dance competition in the country with 595 routines throughout the weekend. NHS induction was Sunday. People with a cumulative GPA of 3.25 or higher were invited to apply. 26 new members were inducted among the 12 pre-existing members. Speech and debate competed in the Johnston Dragon Invitational. Rebecca Hallman placed second in poetry, Sarah Shorley and Trinity Zinda placed first in duo, and Sarah Shorley placed third in POI. Congrats! Now a segment called One Trojan 25 Questions, made by Zeke Whetstone, Trevor Went, and Devin Sedlick. June 2nd. Oh man, I don't even remember that one. <laughs> There's a couple. Ten. Wide. Getting punched in the nose. Math. Nothing. I got everything I need. Old Dodge pickup and a old uh, Buick. Special tricks? Yeah. No, I'm just a good shot with everything I pick up. Oh man, there's just too many to name one. My dad. Um, probably last week. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on it either. <laughs> oh man, I've had so many. I, I can't pick one. What is my nightmare? Being buried alive. Sprite. That good up? Okay. Oh, my moon. Nickname Ink. They just call me Ink. City? No, neither one. Oh, no way. I can't pick one. <laughs> Too bad. Leroy. Eleven times eleven? I don't know. A lot. Uh, let's see. Last book I read. Ken Waters, pet loads. Uh, won't have any. Last Thursday, the Atlantic Cam wrestling team participated in their first triangular of the season. The Trojan wrestlers defeated the Tigers 77 to 0, while also coming out victorious against Audubon 72 to 3. The wrestlers turned around on Friday to wrestle in Humboldt. There, the Trojans had six champions and four runner-ups. The team won the tournament with a score of 287.5. Trojan basketball faced off against St. Albert on Friday. The boys played at home where they defeated the Falcons 66-49. In the game, senior Garrett Franken scored his thousandth point. Girls basketball traveled to Council Bluffs to battle the Saints. They fell to St. Albert with a score of 74-50. The boys also traveled to Red Oak on Monday while the girls played Red Oak here last night. This Friday, the boys and girls will travel to Creston. Okay. Now to Kylie with the Trojan Buzz. Hey Jess, Trojan Buzz is on the move today, part two. How have you guys been preparing for the upcoming season? I don't know, just play hard in the game. How many people are going out this year? 40, about 40, yeah. Has your coach mentioned any goals that he wants your team to achieve this year? Win a lot of games. What are you looking forward to most this season? Have fun on the bus. Uh, we have 12 boys this year out for swim team. What, is, what are some things you do in practice that is preparing you for this season? Well, we have morning practice, afternoon practice, and we lift after the afternoon practice, which is getting us in great shape. Has your coach talked about some goals he set for the team? Uh, our goal this year is to get more than just one person to stay and to get all of our relays there. And what are some personal goals you have for yourself? Uh, personal goal is to make it to state in one of the relays. Now a word from our sponsors. What the freak? I never.
never have any freaking gas in this car. God dang it! Sir, what's the problem? Well, my car's out of gas. Well, get some more gas then. Easy solution right there, fella. I don't know where to go. There's no gas station that's nice enough. Well, I Olsen's fuel supply. The name's in the title. Let's check it out. Well, you get her all filled up? Yep, she's all good. Awesome. Thank you, Olsen Steel Supply, for sponsoring AHS Journalism. Until next time, I'm Alexis Handel. And I'm Shelby Pelzer. Thanks for watching this week's Eye the Needle. Make this week count, AHS!